Hello everyone, this is Roger from AirTanksPlus.com. Today I want to show you our stick man and how it works with the Cascade man. The Cascade man <clears throat> will connect in to the stick man. So this is a Cascade man. It connects to a secondary, allows you to connect to a secondary tank. And then this hose goes into this fitting of stick man. And make sure when you connect the hose that you fully fully seat the hose. Always make sure you do that. <clears throat> so what I have is I have a low pressure tank over here. This one has about uh, 2600 PSI maybe. And this one is sitting right at about 44, maybe 4100 PSI. And what I want to do is I want to show you how we can fill up this air gun. And the air gun is filled using this whip right here this connects into PCP air guns that have this male foster fitting right here. So to connect this to your air gun, you simply come in, bring it in, and again, always make sure you push and it's latched. Make sure it's there. This is a modified air arms air gun um, in 22 caliber. This one's been modified um, to have a bigger cylinder. Normally these cylinders it would be a tube that comes across here. This one's been modified, so this one has a 3600 PSI carbon fiber bottle. Um, the benefit of that in our use case is we do a lot of hunting, and um, before we got about 40 shots on 22 caliber, we had a bell curve. With uh, this modified system here, we now get 100 shots per fill, and they're regulated. So that explains <clears throat> this weird looking air gun over here. Anyway, I want to show you the cascade fill, so I'm going to get started. And again, the way this works is typically when you, if you have just a single tank set up, what you do is you fill the air gun, but again, we're going to fill this up from about 2200 to 36, 3600. And um, if I were to do that on this tank, it's going to take a, a bunch of air off this tank. <clears throat> when I already have this tank here with about 2500 PSI, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the lower pressure tank here on the Cascade Man and I'm going to open this valve and the air is going to travel through and pressurize the whole system so I'm using this low pressure air to pressurize the system and then I'm going to fill with the remaining air inside this um, small tank here and get this tank as high as I can get it and then what I'll do is I'll come over there, I'll close this valve off, and then I'll open this valve, and I'll finish bringing it up. And we're going to bring it, we'll probably bring it to 3500, just for argument here. And uh, let's get started. So we've already connected it. Low pressure tank is on this side. Make sure your bleed valve is closed. Okay, it's closed. And make sure your fittings are snug. Otherwise, these fittings will pop off and scare the crap out of you. So I'm going to slowly open this valve. And you can see the gauge right here start to rise. So it's slowly filling. There it goes. So we're able to charge the air gun, and it's charging the air gun, and it was able to charge this valve is open completely now. So we were able to take all the remaining air, bring this up to 2800 um, or 2700 PSI, and now we're going to close this valve. So I'm going to close this valve up. This valve is closed. And so without wasting any additional air to charge any of the lines, I'm going to go ahead and slowly crack this valve here and finish charging the gun. So I'm going to grab it and slowly crack it. See the pressure start going up? And you want to fill these nice and slow. So I'm going to back it off a little bit and slowly fill it. There we go. Slow it down a little bit there. And it's slowly going to rise up. And then I'm going to stop at about uh, 3,500. There we go. So I tighten it down. And you can leave it connected. If you hot fill, when you're transferring air into this tank, it actually warms up. So as it cools, you're going to watch this needle dropping a little bit. It's because the cylinder's cooling back down, and the air is, um, <clears throat> as the air pressure equalizes, it's cooling. It's cooling down, therefore this air pressure will be lower. So I'm just going to top it off one more time. Crack the valve and bring it up just a little above, and then stop it. And then to bleed the system, I'm going to use the integrated bleed line right here on Stickman, 
And since both valves are closed, it's going to drain all the air out of the system and we'll take it apart. So I'm going to go ahead and crack this valve. And with stick man, the air blows out the back, so it's not, blowing, it's not hitting me. So we just disconnected the air. And I'm going to remove it from the tank right here. And now we've successfully charged the, the gun. And we've utilized air from two different tanks to do that. Why is that important? Well, when you cascade fill, you're actually getting more usable air out of each tank. In other words, if I were just to use this tank to charge this gun, it would take a big hit. And next time I go to charge it, there'd be less pressure to bring this pressure up in the tank. So by cascade filling, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm utilizing two of these SCBA tanks. These are small 17 cubic foot tanks that I have just to show you and get everything in frame. But typically this would be two big 88 um, cubic foot carbon fiber 60 minute bottles. And uh, the reason that you'd want to cascade if you if you're shooting a big bore air rifle or you're shooting an air rifle that has these big cylinders, these big cylinders filling this to 3600 is ta will task your air delivery system a lot more than just filling a gun to 2800 PSI. So by cascading it, you're going to be able to use the air in this tank more efficiently because you're just using this high pressure tank to top off. So you're going to use this lower pressure tank and you're going to get as much air as you can and then you're going to top off with the second tank, the high pressure tank right here. And then when this tank gets so low that it's not worth your time to do that, then you'll disconnect this tank. It's going to disconnect it here. And what you do is you disconnect this. Now this tank, as you can see, the pressure is really low. This tank, you'll take in and get this one filled. If you drop it off to get filled, pick it up the next day, you can drop this tank off. Now, in the meantime, you still have this bottle you can still refill with if you need to. And then, once you get this bottle refilled, it now becomes the high pressure bottle. So then, this bottle will become your topping off bottle. And this one will move over to the low pressure bulk fill bottle. So I know it might sound confusing, so I'm trying to simplify it as much as possible, but that's sort of your advantage to cascade filling. And uh, you don't necessarily need you don't need the Cascade Man if you're, you're shooting with your buddy, for instance, and your buddy has a PCP fill adapter. As long as his fill adapter has one of these female fosters, he can connect that into here and bulk fill from his tank. And then you could just use this, the stick man to finish topping off the tank. So, let me go ahead and put this away. The nice part about the stick man is it's very light and it's very compact. It's about a, a pound lighter than the other stuff, um, the big stainless steel heavy fittings out there to do the same task. So it's a lot lighter. So when you're done, you can wrap this back up and you can put both of these will fit back into the stick man bag. So sorry it's a rush video. Sorry I sort of ramble a little bit, but I was in a hurry to make this. It's almost Christmas and uh, we had a couple people kind of asking about it. So I thought I'd make this quick video. Um, I hope you find it a value, and I thank you for your time. Hi guys, this is Roger. I just wanted to go back in and clarify that last video I made showing how to cascade fill using the Cascade Man. And uh, some of you might think that when we pressurized it, we took the pressure out of this low pressure tank and pressurized the system, then we close this valve and we open this valve to finish topping off the air gun that we're wasting air um, by pressurizing this line with the high pressure air. And that doesn't happen. This valve, or this, this fitting right here in Stickman, this is a one-way valve. So air can go in the valve, but it won't come out the other way. So when we turn the high pressure on, uh, the air does not leave here and pressurize this line. So I just wanted to clarify that.